guys. Um, so this week I wanted to do a video. It's kind of like a follow-up video, I guess, to um David's uh the banning of books rant thing on a Monday. Anyways, so if you don't know, so this school in Knoxville, Tennessee, um banned John Green's Looking for Alaska because it was, and I quote, it was pure porn. Okay. That book is not porn. The person who brought this up was a mother of a 15 year old. and The mother's name was Lori Seal. And she says that her son is not, should not be exposed to that, to those things, to that language, or to sex, or to death at that age of 15. First of all, my first impression of Lori Seal is that she is terribly naive. If she doesn't think her 15 year old son can, should be exposed to, uh, that to crude language and sexual um, encounters at 15, um, then she obviously doesn't know what teenagers talk about in high school. So she didn't even read the book, she read excerpts of the book, meaning she chose select passages and read them. And made a generalization of the book based on the few passages that she read. But Lori Seal decided that she wanted the book banned from all the schools because the original reason she took it to the school board is because it was on her son's required reading list for his um, English class. Anyways, so they took it off the required reading list, which mm, they probably should have sent a permission slip or something along with it, but, um, they took it off the required reading list, but this Miss, Mrs. Seal wants to go a step further and ban it from the school altogether. I think that's stupid because book banning is unnecessary. You are limiting a vast amount of knowledge. Why would you ban books? Books never did anything to you, except for maybe write about something that you didn't like, and in that case, don't read the book. There is no reason you should ban it. Just because we read Looking for Alaska doesn't mean we're automatically going to go, Oh, I'm going to go out and have sex and, you know, drink and smoke and Kirk. It's like David said. We read, um of mice and men, and we don't automatically feel the need to go out and euthanize every um, uh, developmentally challenged person in our area. Well, I'm going to stop now. Thanks for listening. Corey, I'll see you tomorrow.